A visit to hell and horrendous things I witnessed there. This is a very shocking testimony of things unknown to humans. Causes for falling into hell. Emmanuel Agyarko is a Ghanaian teenager who has been receiving visions from the Lord since he was a small boy. These visions have increased dramatically since 2009. Here he shares some of his experiences with the Lord Jesus Christ. On the 24th of November 2011, in the afternoon after I had come home from school, I found myself taken to hell by the Lord to be shown various things. This is not the first time I have been taken to hell, I have had other encounters, and however, this particular visit is different as it has many warnings to people who are still on earth. It is my prayer that all who read or listened to this testimony would take it seriously and make sure they avoid hell at all cost and align themselves under the Lordship of the Lord Jesus Christ and prepare for His coming. Pastors WHO do not pay tithe. I saw four pastors in hell, who were there because they did not pay their tithes. One was called Albert and another was Daniel, a pastor of Church of Christ and this church does not believe in tithing. Daniel said he told his congregation not to pay tithes as it was no longer necessary. He was in hell for basically two things. First of all, he was not paying tithes himself and secondly, because he also stopped others from paying it. For Albert, his church believed in paying tithe, but he thought it was meant for only the congregation and pastors were excluded from paying it. He wished he could come back to earth to start over again and pay his tithes. The other two pastors also did not pay, and one of them, thought simply he did not think he had to pay it even though he knew he should be paying it, and the other thought ministering before God is not working, so he thought there was no need to pay any tithes. People WHO used charms. As I walked in those pits, I then was shown many pits full of ladies who used charms to get husbands to marry them. Some used lipsticks, facial makeup kits to seduce men. In one of the pits, I saw a woman named Ama Gaimfua who attended Church of Pentecost. She went for charms from a fetish priest so she could control her husband like a dog, this is why she was in hell because of using this evil charms. Next to this, I saw another lady called Mavis who had a pink lipstick on her mouth. She collected this seductive lipstick from an occult man, and it was meant to manipulate men to lust after her and she would cause men to by all means to look for money and give it to her. I then saw a young lady called Vivian who seemed to be around 24 years old, she had filthy clothing on her in the form of a short indecent dress, and she had long acrylic nails, glossy looking lipstick and a scarf on her head. She was in the pit because she went to idols for charms such that, whenever she slept with any man, she hijacked the semen of men to be used for witchcraft rituals. Through her acts, five men died. These rituals were made so she would obtain money. She said she used to dress indecently and in a seductive way whilst she was on earth, and lived at Kwashiman in Accra, Ghana. And as I was contemplating the scene above, I turned to the other side where I saw a certain woman who was a pastor's wife on earth and she was called Alice. She also went for charms to charm her husband. She said she was a witch and went for charms. She put her menses in a palm nut soup together with other things for the husband to eat. From that moment, the husband became like her son so she could control and dominate him. She tied the husband and locked him inside a spiritual bottle. She also killed some of her church members and when she died, she was immediately thrown in hell for what she had done. As the Lord took me in this tour, I also was shown a man called Kwame, who was into occultism. He had a ring on his manhood, sexual part, which made it possible for him to charm prostitutes. So after sleeping with the prostitutes, he then killed them and used their body parts in witchcraft rituals for other people. From this scene, I was then shown a tall man, who went for a charm to seduce young girls to come after him for sex. He had sex with about 1,000 girls and was at the University of Ghana, Legan in Accra, Ghana. He went for penis enlargement and was given some things to plant. This spiritually nailed him to hell, and so in hell, he has been nailed in his pit in hell. He was also a youth leader in his church and had sex with many girls in the church. I later saw a pastor evangelist called Francis who was in the Methodist church. He went for a charm such that anything he said was not refuted. He said when he proposed to girls, they could not resist his charms and he was also a gay. I also saw a lady newscaster from Ghana who had died. She had facial makeup on, this was given to her by an Indian occultist. The purpose was to get fame, favor, and love from people. She eventually died from diabetes.
I then saw seven pastors, who had died in Ghana, and they were all in a secret society, and they were dressed like that. They were all prophets and had magic rings, which they used to perform miracles and prophesy in their churches. They were all screaming in pain. I also saw a gospel singer who died in Ghana. He said he was a pastor and he went to an India man to help him sing. He said this man gave him some oil and made him burn some incense and had a ring that gave him the authority to release many albums. He was required to sleep with women, so in the church, he slept with most of the women. In hell, large worms were just going through his body and he was seriously burned in the fire. He also had the number 666 written on his forehead. I saw a man called Abednego, who had a chain around his neck. Whilst on earth whenever he went into danger he used to vanish to escape from death. He eventually died and is now in hell fire eternal suffering. I saw some Ghanaians wearing different rings, gold, silver, and brass, and they were all members of secret societies. I was then shown a former finance minister from Ghana, who was in hell for being a member of a secret society and also because of acquiring evil powers to give him a smart brain. I also saw a pastor from Ghana called Alfred who had consulted the Queen of the Coast for empowerment. He had a ring and a white handkerchief. The handkerchief was for healing, and the ring was for casting out demons. The heat of his torment was seven times more than the others who were there for charms. I then saw a lady from Nigeria, who also used charms to charm her husband so that when the husband would die all the property would be willed to her favor, unfortunately this woman died and found herself in hell fire. I then saw various students with bags at their backs. These were from primary, junior high, senior high and even university. These students went for charms to help them to be smart learn, hence they were brilliant in school. These could not complete their education and they all died. I also saw some students from a famous school in Kumasi, Ghana. I saw many medical doctors in hell, and one of them was called Dr. Frimpong who when he saw me, starting saying that when he became a doctor he was afraid, so he joins a secret society where he was given a ring to protect him. He died in an accident and found himself in hell fire. I saw many lawyers, judges, and justices all burning in hell fire. They were all part of secret societies and also consulted demons for their protection. They had rings that protected them whilst they were alive. I also saw a girl I knew personally at Kwataso in Kumasi. She went to consult a fetish so she could snatch her best friend's boyfriend. She died a shameful death afterward and she is now in hell. I then saw a man called Budo who was at Buokram in Kumasi, Ghana when he was alive. This man was so strong and powerful that even the police were scared of him. He told me, I went to Satan for powers to be very strong and powerful. I had protection against, guns, knives, spears, and all other weapons. He said, the powers made my body like a metal, so even a bullet would only mark the body but cannot penetrate and I had to sell my soul to the devil in order to achieve that. This man is also now in hell and suffering as the demons use red hot spears to pierce his body and tear his body apart. I then saw prostitutes who were being chased around by demons in hell, these demons were raping these girls in the midst of the fire. These girls went for charms to help them to conduct their business as prostitutes so that they could not be harmed or killed. One of them was called Joanna and she said, I had the power to vanish when there was a danger. All these girls were in hell fire suffering seriously. I saw one woman from Ghana called Auntie Afua. She went for holy water from a prophet in Ghana with a big gallon. She treated the water as her god. This water was demonic and when she died she ended up in hell. I also saw Frank who was also from Ghana. He went for a handkerchief from a prophet, so that anytime he rubs it on his face, he gets favors everywhere he went. This handkerchief was demonic, and he died in his sins. I then saw at a distance away, a valley and there were about 10,000 people burning in the larva of fire there. The demon was laughing and mocking them and said, all these used our magic rings. When I got close I just knew the name of one man in the group, called Pastor Afria from Ghana. He said, he went for a ring for healing. There were about 2,000 pastors in that section of hell for using magical rings. These were from different countries in the world. I was then shown a young man I knew in Kumasi and had died. This man was handsome and went alive and he had many girlfriends. He was in hell for fornication. I then saw a hot band around his waist which was burning him and cutting him. 
He said these are the useless things I went for whilst on earth. I then saw five demons with big bags containing different currencies and these were being taken to those who did charms for people to get rich on conditions that they would sell their souls to Satan and die after some years. For those who engage in these activities, as soon as you agree to this, you will have tied your soul in hell and immediately you die, the demons would take you to hell fire. I saw the fetish priest tell a man that he would live for seven years, but in reality, this would be divided into two and this man would die only after three and a half years. I saw a 43-year-old fair-looking Nigerian woman who was in hell fire because of shedding innocent blood. She stole a month-old baby from a hospital to be used for witchcraft rituals. She placed the baby in a wooden container and pounded the baby to death. She then added a yellowish, green oil mixture and transformed this into US dollars in the spirit realm. She was rejoicing over and shouting, money, money. This woman was being tormented by demons with three pronged forks and telling her, you wicked woman, praise Satan. This is all that you did when you were on earth. I then saw another lady who whilst on earth slept with many men, and afterward, she collected the condoms and drained their semen into a container and took it to a fetish for money rituals. This lady eventually died and she is now being tormented in hell fire. I then saw another section in hell in a valley overflowing with very hot lava. The sign at this place read, Mockers of God. Those in this section of hell had large golden rings on their fingers, and this made it possible for them to heal, cast out demons, turn curses into a blessing and performed many signs and wonders while they were on earth. These were only those who used golden rings. I then saw the demon in charge of that section, saying, these people are there because of using magical rings to perform miracles. Each of the souls was in a pit which was a shoulder deep. These people were from many countries but I saw two who were from Ghana. One man from Nigeria said, God, save me, and a voice said, I never knew you. Lucifer then came to that section of hell and laughed sarcastically and uncontrollably. Princess Diana and Michael Jackson. I also saw Princess Diana, and she was there for witchcraft and in hell, she looks a bit deformed. She had a protective ring from India, but this obviously failed to save her on that fateful night. One of the people I also saw as part of a group of musicians was Michael Jackson. He had an Indian magic ring on his hand which made him call on high powers of Satan. He said, I went for a ring from the devil. He gave me fame and riches and voice like that of an angel, and now I am in hell suffering forever without Christ. It was this ring from India that gave him the high celebrity ranking and obtained power to sing amazingly. He is also among those who used charms during their lifetime on earth. Call. Muammar Gaddafi and General Sani Abaka in hell. I then saw a former Nigerian president called Sani Abaka in the royal part in hell, where most world leaders go to. He said, he caused the deaths of many thousands of people so he could use their body parts for rituals. I then saw Kal, Muammar Gaddafi, who was recently killed by the rebels in Libya. He said, he is there because he didn't believe in Jesus. I was shown how he lived his life on earth. He had a magic chain which helped him vanish when the NATO forces and rebels attacked him. However, on that fateful day, after bathing he forget to put on the chain he got from an occult grandmaster in India. He said, I should tell all Libya, sons, and wife to turn to Christianity. He said that he is suffering terribly and if they do not change, they would all end up in the place where he is. He even said, those who killed me should not come here. He then requested for a drop of water. People on the way to hell. The Lord then showed me a scene of people buying things on earth and going straight to hell. The shop was in Ghana, however, there are many all over the world and they sold demonic items used by the false prophets in their churches and by the fetish priests. These items included, red, black, blue, magenta, purple and green candles, different demonic oils, powder, water, padlocks and other items used in the churches which used these things and all those buying these demonic items were walking straight to hell, because these items were used for occult practices in the churches and fetish. The Lord then told me, that any time anyone gets a charm to do anything, that person automatically becomes a candidate of hell, as the name will be eventually written in hell. I then saw a demon in hell holding a container in his hand with many different rings. The demon then said that these are the rings being given to people on earth for charms. The rings were for protection, healing, spirituality, magical powers, knowledge and others. 
I was then shown many bottles, and some demons were taking them to earth to be used by people who charm others and imprison their souls in bottles in the spiritual realm. Anyone who charms others becomes one with Lucifer and would end up in hell for punishment. I was shown various celebrities, members of the judiciary and politicians on their way to hell for using charms to help them perform well, attain high positions and also become famous. I saw one popular actress in Ghana, who places a charm in between her breasts so that she would charm people. She and many others also using charms to act were on their way to hell. I also saw many gospel and secular singers who were also on their way to hell for using charms to perform and record their albums. I was shown bodybuilders who were using certain potions to smear their bodies so they would be strong and win laurels. All these were all their way to hell as well. Footballers in hell. I then saw a 12-year-old boy who was a footballer. I asked the Lord why he was there, and the Lord said because he was into the occult. His teacher led him into this practice so could be a great footballer. He was taken to an occultist for charms and special oil to play well. I also saw another footballer from Brazil. He went to a wizard to help him play in the league. He refused to go back to thank the wizard, so he died on the pitch one day whilst playing a football match. I also saw Mark Vivian Foe, the Cameroonian footballer who died during a football match in France in 2003. He went to the Queen of the Coast for powers to play in the African Cup of Nations. After obtaining the powers, he was supposed to sacrifice his mother to the queen of the coast but refused to do it. So during that fateful day, a spirit from the water kingdom struck his heart and killed him instantly on the pitch. So he was in hell for the occultism. In hell, I saw him holding a human skull. Footballers and fans on their way to hell. I was then shown many teams and their supporters on their way to hell through the tunnels. The first team I saw was Chelsea Football Club. They were being led by Ivanovic, and followed by the other players in a straight line. They all had divers items in their hands, some had incense, oil, sacred rings, and other things. I was then shown how all those who followed and supported this team with their hearts, were all following them in the tunnel to hell fire. I was then shown Ronaldinho and certain young boys in the age range of 8 to 13 years. These boys were learning to play like him. I then saw a strange looking demon, in the various forms, namely form of a woman, a monkey and had wings like a bat. This is the demon that helps him to play well. So when these boys started rehearsing, this demon manifests and enters them. I saw him and all his fans, supporters and the boys who are seeking to play like him walking in the tunnel on their way to hell. The next football star I saw was Kaka. He had a bible in his right hand and a football in the left hand. I then saw a demon come to him and told him, follow me and I would show you the path of the lie. This demon then took the Bible and placed it in his left hand and the football in his right hand. Sadly, this demon was leading him to hell too. I then saw a man who told him in Portuguese that you can be a Christian but everything you want to do in football I would do it for you. This man then did some rituals and a demon appeared, then he put some liquid upon his head and the demon entered into him. He then began to play skillfully. I saw Brazilian teenage footballers all following him to hell. I was then shown some people who were walking silently to hell, and they were the Brazilian football teams. I asked the Lord Jesus, what have they done and he said it is because of idolatry. This because football is a god and those who support it will eventually end up in hell. I then saw Pele went into a cemetery at night to invoke a demon. This demon came to the players and strange oil was rubbed on them and were asked not to touch any woman. Then I saw a strange demon, with the head of a man, but the body of a calf. This demon was leading the team including the old players like Pele and others. I also saw the majority of Brazilians following them silently to hell because of the passion for football. I saw many footballers using rings, special oils, and other occult paraphernalia to ply their trade. However, the sad thing is, all these players were walking straight to hell together with their supporters. I saw the France football team also being led by Zidane and other former players. Their fans and supporters were all following them to hell and after this, I then saw the Egyptian national team is led by Abutreka and all were on their way to hell as well. The team was being led two demons in the form of cows. The major demon which helped them win the African Cup of Nations seven times was Osiris. I was then shown all the teams of the world including the national team of Ghana, the black stars being followed by their supporters and fans. 
I then asked the Lord Jesus why is it so, and he said because they all belong to the enemy and are involved in the occult practices. Then the Lord said, I should warn that no one who is into occult can come to his kingdom. I saw all the football clubs arranged in levels on their way to hell silently and followed closely by their fans. All the young boys who are following the professional footballers were all following them to hell. Some of these boys do not go to the fetish themselves, but their teachers and coaches go for the occult powers and give them the items and instructions on what to do. Christians and Football I was then shown two Christian teams playing a football match, and demons came there in the form of bears to sit and watch the match. They were so happy and waving. Other demons also appeared from the ground to manipulate the match as though they were the coaches and even when Christians were playing a match, the demons had a right to be present, because football is a game which was designed by Lucifer to deceive many into hell. I then saw a different church match and one man went to consult a cult to win the match. He was given a clock to go to the cemetery to sleep there from 12 midnight till 6 a.m. He then placed the clock near the opposing church's pole so they would win the match. The other team too had a man go to another fetish who gave him a strange liquid which he sprinkled on their jerseys. The demons then possessed the players and they played by the power of dwarfs on the field. People with tattoos. I also saw a 17-year-old American boy called Philip. This boy had a spider tattoo on his back. He said his friend told him it would protect him from sickness. I then saw Lucifer pass by him mock him. This boy was in church and thought he was going to heaven. Unfortunately, this boy is in hell now because of the tattoo. Lucifer then said, all those who use tattoos, serve me. I saw many other people in this section of hell, all because they have been tattooed on their bodies. I then saw Lucifer transform himself into a young man with many tattoos on his body, with body piercings and mocking them by quoting Lev 1928, Ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, nor print any marks upon you, I am the Lord. In hell, a red-hot metal had been attached to the tattoo designs and they were in much pain. I saw one boy who said he did not know about the consequences, he had just imitated a friend doing it, so he also did same. However, this boy is also in hell in much pain for having a tattoo on his body. Males with earrings. I moved a little further and I saw this young man in a pit of fire with earrings on the ears. He said he went for seducing power for girls to fall in love to him, he also had a ring he used to seduce both men and women to have sex with them. Most boys and men use this to seduce girls to have sex with them. This is also another occultic practice that is going on now because a demonic spirit enters into the boys or men who do this and their lives are influenced negatively. Satanic and Christian books. I was then shown a library in hell. The room was very black with three candles, red, blue and black, but they melted though they were burning. I saw the Book of Mormon, books on astrology, white witchcraft, satanic bible, books on evolution, 6th and 7th book of Moses, hip-hop bible, book of changes and other demonic books some of which are used by various religions. Those using these books ended up in hell. I also saw many Christian books and Lucifer then said, my spirit lives in the books and any book that has not the spirit of God in the book is filled with my power. He also said, any book that can lead people to hell is stored in that room. People have to be careful the books they read even including Christian titles. Soldiers in Hell. After I came out of the room, I was taken to a section in hell where I saw soldiers. These were soldiers when they were on earth from different countries. They were in a pool of fire burning. They went for protection against gunshot and other weapons. Some had the power to vanish others had clothes that were gunshot proof. They did all sorts of occult practices for their protection whilst on earth. Each of them had 666 written on the forehead. There were huge demons brutalizing these soldiers and torturing them. The demon in charge there was 19 feet and looked like a frog with three eyes. I saw a Ghanaian soldier who had a very sad story, he was into martial arts and when he died a demon dragged him to that section of hell. Most people do not know, but all those who practice martial arts would end up in hell fire too. Smokers. I was later shown two people who were in hell for smoking. So people have to know that smoking would take them to hell. People WHO call on saints. I also saw a man who called saints when he was on earth, and this was classified occult and he was suffering greatly. Afterward, I was taken back through the tunnel and I came back to earth. End.
Please do not go to hell, it is for all eternity. IT is an absolute eternal mistake to decide your fate in hell. Jesus Christ loves you, and he wants you to have eternal life with him in heaven. 666 Mark of the Beast is here. U.S. government passes CHIPS implantation bill. The U.S. government had recently passed the Obama health care bill to law to take effect from the 23rd of March 2013. This new law requires an RFID radio frequency identification chip implanted in all U.S. citizens. The microchip was incorporated in the last health care bill in a clever manner. This chip will not only contain the personal information with tracking capability, but it will also be linked to individual bank account. No U.S. citizen will be allowed in or out of our country without it. The page 1004 of the new law dictating the timing of this chip reads, not later than 36 months after the date of the enactment. It is now the law of the land that by March 23, 2013, all American citizens will all be required to have an RFID chip underneath the skin. Testing has begun with implanting under the skin of the hand. Revelation 13 16, and he couseth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand, or in their foreheads. Revelation 13 17, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Revelation 13 18, here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is 603 score and 6. Revelation 14, 9-12. A third angel followed them and said in a loud voice, If anyone worships the beast in his image and receives his mark on the forehead or on the hand, he, too, will drink of the wine of God's fury, which has been poured full strength into the cup of his wrath. He will be tormented with burning sulfur in the presence of the holy angels and of the Lamb. And the smoke of their torment rises forever and ever. There is no rest day or night for those who worship the beast in his image, or for anyone who receives the mark of his name. It is a matter of time, Nigeria will soon join the train. If you receive the mark of the beast, the Bible says that anyone who will accept this mark will be thrown in the lake of fire. You lost your own soul even if you accept Christ you will be thrown in hell with the Antichrist. This calls for patient endurance on the part of the saints who obey God's commandments and remain faithful to Jesus. A visit to hell in heredity.